It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and today I'm going to be playing Two Point Campus, which just came out. It's a brand new game from the makers of Two Point Hospital. It's a management sim that lets you build the campus of your dreams, and that is very appealing to me because... <laughs> I don't know if you know, but I've spent a lot of time on university campuses, probably too much time, honestly, and the idea of being able to create my own uh, sounds really fun and appealing. And um, I also just dig management sims. They've got nice chill vibes, you know, going all the way back to like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I've always loved these kinds of games. And uh, this one seems to have a similar kind of vibe, you know, it uh, looks quite charming, maybe a little bit humorous and lighthearted, so I'm really looking forward to checking it out, and when the publisher, Sega, reached out and asked if I wanted to uh, check it out on the channel, I said, absolutely, so here we are, uh, it's out on PC, it's out on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, pretty much everywhere and if you are interested in checking it out there is a link down below this video where you can do so uh, so let's just jump on in i kind of have an idea of what to expect here but i've not played it yet so this is going to be a fresh experience for me right off the bat i'm intrigued by what they're showing here this is very hogwartsy looking kind of school, which uh, is pretty cool. When they say the campus of your dreams, they are not joking. Looks like there's going to be a lot of variety, so let's go. <laughs> I never did any jousting on my campus, nor did I steal anyone's cheesy whatever those are with the drone. I feel like maybe I missed out. Yeah, this looks way more fun than my university experiences. <laughs> as a campus administrator. I do not. But the people at Freshly County College are eager to give you a chance. Alright, let's check it out. I'm not sure what that says about them, but about them. But hey, let's head to Freshly Meadows and get started on your academic empire. And it looks like uh, we can actually see other levels scattered around here, probably. Like this is maybe one, one down here, one up here. I'm just guessing. Alright, Freshly Meadows, level 1. This countryside college has low expectations and a nice canal. Both things I appreciate. It's the perfect place to start your career. We start with $500,000 to build our community college campus. Alright, let's start. I'm not quite sure, like, what exactly we're going to be managing. 
empty. It's not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. I love it. <laughs> the writing's actually pretty fun, and the voiceover, that voiceover was incredible. First day of school. Welcome to Freshly Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The Two Point Countryside is the perfect start or perfect place to start your career. Learn the ropes, make mistakes, and hit the ground smiling. It's important to be able to make mistakes. <laughs> so this is clearly, you know, the tutorial level, and that's exactly where I need to be, having not played anything here yet. Course info, Scientography. I'm not sure what that would be. <laughs> student intake, 10. All right, we've got 10 students. Okay. Staff are reminded to care about students. <laughs> yeah. I love that that's, you know, an announcement that has to go out. Uh, welcome to campus. Before you start churning out geniuses, you'll need to learn the basics of campus management. Try moving the camera and have a look around. All right. Uh, we can zoom in and out. We can pan the camera around. We can rotate. We can even pitch up and down should we want to. Gotcha. Uh, I'm uh, playing on PC, clearly. But like I said, it's available on a bunch of stuff. Uh, our campus is going to be running a Scientography course. Let's start by building a science lab. Always a good thing to have for teaching a science course. All right, little hammer means build. Science lab, $18,200. Uh, that is a very optimistic price for a science lab. Maybe a very basic teaching lab can be equipped for that, but uh, gosh, as soon as you have a couple microscopes in there, you've already blown your budget, let alone all kinds of analytical equipment. Uh, but anyway, that's okay. Uh, okay, oh, I see. So we can build it in here somewhere. Okay, so it kind of snaps to a grid a little bit. All right. Uh, okay, well, let's try doing what they say. I don't know how big the science lab has to be exactly, but let's build a 4x6. Sure, why not? No oh, minimum room size not met. Okay. Oh, 5x5, five five, I see it says up here. Uh, how do I? What if I make it bigger? Okay, there we go. Oh, I was just placing like a generic room. Uh, and then we outfit it with different stuff. Okay, I see. That makes sense. It needs a door. It needs a science board. And it needs a science hub. Alright, let's put a science hub. Uh, like right smack dab in the middle here. And uh, a door. Like right here. And a science board. Uh, stick that like right here. This music is fresh. Nice. Okay, I guess we've done it. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I just love nice. what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent. Uh, the radio voiceover is quite something. I'm pretty good at that. So, a skill honed over many years. Now, let's hire a teacher to run our first Scientography class. Uh, add teachers. Timmy White is our only option right now. Oh, no. We've also got a Robin Plum. They both command the same salary. However, Timmy White seems to be the one who wants us to pick, so... Let's see. 
70% teaching skill. Okay, he's got some traits. He drops litter around. Oh, I don't know about that, you guys. Iron bladder. Toilet comfort decreases slower than most. <laughs> and used it, didn't lose it. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway, okay. Sure thing, Timmy. Or should I say Dr. White? <laughs> okay, we literally just dropped them into the room. Teacher cannot work in science lab. Oh, I guess I have to go into. Oh, cannot work in lecture theater. Why not? Can I just drop them out here? Well, hopefully they go somewhere. Okay. He appears to be leaving. <laughs> Alright, bye. Goodbye, Dr. White. Uh, great work. We now have everything we need to run our Scientography course. When you're ready, select Start Next Year to welcome our first year of students. Okay. Well, we've got a lecture hall and we've got the science lab, so we'll see how it goes. Now taking students for Scientography. Are they going to come in the front door? I hope so. Oh, they're there. You are of us. <laughs> the students are arriving on campus. Are you nervous? Why am I nervous? I am slightly nervous. Alright, one student has found the classroom, it looks like. Ish. Are you gonna are you gonna go in? Nope. They're just gonna wander around, I guess. I guess. How do I complete a scientography class? Classes are scheduled for each course throughout the year. Make sure there are enough rooms, yes. Teachers, yes. And equipment to keep your classes running. Oh, okay, they're going I can't in. I not read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses. But I am told that that's quite ironic. So, yeah. Here's Hugh. <laughs> High quality. Look at that. The students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen. Oh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at Duckworth Campus Food Court where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens. The radio is ridiculous. Also, did the student just eat? Pretty sure this student is eating this jelly. Oh, it leveled them up though, so they're alright. What just happened to this one? Why do they look like a clown? As students learn, they gain experience points, which will increase their academic level. Okay. Alright, well, we're still working on our Scientography class. <laughs> this, this clown just keeps falling. I gotta say, the animations have a lot of character. Can we click on individual students? We can. Wolfric Half Moon. Scientography class. And now we're bubbling. This means fizziness. <laughs> Traits. Dark Aura. He bestows happiness on others. Oh, that's wholesome. And a weak bladder. Well, that's a problem because I don't think we have a bathroom yet. So... That's a real mood. That is a real mood. Okay, they did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do it all that well. It seems a number of them were distracted by one need or the other. <laughs> and most a Z plus. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Sure. A student's needs, such as their thirst or toilet comfort, will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in classes and earn more XP. Take a look at 
our students and see what we can do to improve the campus. Alright, what does this guy need? Elf Panther. Happiness decreasing. The key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's. Students need somewhere to relax themselves, to rest themselves, and to relieve themselves. Okay. Sure, two of those might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. <laughs> Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. All right. Let's do that. Uh, I guess I just come here. Dormitory, okay. Uh, it needs to be at least two by two. I mean, that sounds like a dormitory for a single student, but sure. Can we just build it right into the corner here? No windows. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It needs a door, a cabinet, and a bed. Door? I like this, like, uh, blueprinty look. It's kind of cool. Yes, the bus is the new Bed. hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do while driving. But this way, it's much more safe. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. Okay. Uh, we've made a dormitory. It's very small and windowless and looks very depressing. Dormitories are a great place for students to relax when they're low on energy. One bed between five students is considered normal on campus. <laughs> I feel like this. they're trying to say something. Students may dream of having their own bed, but they'll happily share with a few friends. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Yikes. All right, let's build a bathroom. We will give the bathroom um, a window. It'll be right next to the bedroom. There we go. And it needs a door and a toilet. Uh, the window. We'll look into the toilet. <laughs> Ah, oh, too bad. We just blocked the one window. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. All right. Ah, oh, we've unlocked the shower room. Did you hear that? I think our students might be hungry. Traditionally, campuses offer a range of food and drink to, you know, sustain life. Let's add some vending machines. The lowest possible bar, but sure. Okay, so item placement. We got the cheesy gubbins machine. <laughs> I think that's what we saw in the intro, cheesy gubbins. Yes, let's place some cheesy gubbins right here. I will say the, uh, like there's a, a gentle snap to kind of effect when trying to place stuff that actually makes it really easy to place things where you want without being overbearing. Oh, okay, and we'll place a burp machine right next door. Perfect. If we, if it were up to the students, I'm sure we'd all be living in our own filth. That is true. Uh, many students, not the, not the best hygiene. Uh, luckily, they have very little say in the matter. Let's hire a janitor and place a bin to keep things nice and tidy. Okay. Uh, a bin, a load of rubbish indeed. We'll place it right here, prominently, on the corner. And let's hire a janitor. Boris Greenside. Uh, let's learn about Boris. Oh, no, wait, sorry. This is a science teacher. Where is, ah, uh, over here. Ah, uh, Arnold Muling. All right, he's a little faster. Gets thirsty easily, gets hungry easily though. And a weak bladder, also a dirty snake. Okay, clean this up please. Yeah, got a mess. What are we listening to? 
Let's see how the students do in their next class. Explore a world of legend and lamb chops in Meat Wizard, of the Salami Sorcerer. Only on the Bungle Button Master would the games be happening. I kind of want to see Meat Wizard. Meat Wizard. Okay, we're lecturing here. Well, that's a microscope, all right. It's only a monocular microscope, though. Come on, surely we can at least get stereoscopes. Oh, well, we gotta start somewhere, you know. We are trying to get our students to pass Scientography with at least a C+. Oh, this guy's tired. There's no smoke without science. Or perhaps the other way around. Feeling freshly. What a nice canal. <laughs> He's peckish, though, and tired. Well, uh, you could go sleep in the single bed that's shared by all five of you. Actually, we have ten students, but only one dormitory. I wonder if we could place another dormitory. And uh, keep our students happier. Two places at once. Now that is a real mood. Sometimes the scheduling just does not work out. <laughs> this guy climbed up the bottom of the bed. <laughs> that's a weird, that's a weird thing to do. All right, let's build another windowless dormitory here. How much money have we got? Oh, plenty. There we go. And we will put the door here and another bed right over here. Another one of these. Nice. Well done, those students look smarter already. Ah, we finished our coursework. The better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus. Indeed. As well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. Satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is a spot for studying. Is a spot of studying, sorry. Luckily, the students have been given their first assignments. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from the classroom, though it looks like they need some new facilities. Check your inbox to see what they need. All right, inbox is over here. Uh, library. Wolfric Half Moon, our friend. <laughs> Look at these books. Everyone wants a library. All right, let's build a library. So before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. You have it. It needs to be at least three by three. Uh, let's build it right over here. This is a perfect size space. Let's make it a little bigger. I feel like 3x3 three three for a library is pretty small. Okay. We're gonna need, um, what is this? Library reception. Okay. We can go right here. And we're gonna need, uh, at least one bookshelf. Because, <laughs> you know, a library without any books, probably not very good. Let's place another one just, you know, for the aesthetics. And, uh, study cubicle. Very important. Right in front of the window. It's a nice place. All right. And we have a library. A very sad, small library, but a library nonetheless. Oh my gosh, the reception has an enormous book. Also, look at that computer. That is old school in a way I love. There's a flyer. All right. Hire an assistant. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the library assistant going to look like? There we go. Emily Fuddle. Emily appears to have a wicked mohawk. So, let's do that. Some of these names, though. Jacques Custard, Peter Dangle, and Sue's McBoatface. <laughs> Actually, okay, maybe we have to hire McBoatface. Oh, 
some toilet problems. Dry mouth moves a little slow, but they got library management skills. They all do. Now, well, McBoat face it shall be. There you go. Works in the library. Complete an assignment in the library. Students will need to send a request to your inbox. They need help on an assignment. Okay. <laughs> Some of our students are completing an assignment in the library. Ooh, I guess I don't get to find out. Place the room or item they need and wait for them to complete their assignment. Okay, I think because we've placed the library, they're just doing it. Oh yeah, it's our friend Wolfric. He's now dabbing in his photo. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's see how the students do in their next class. Now, they're gonna take it and have to pass with at least a B. We shall see. All right, we made some money that month. Oh, our inbox has something for us. Ah, here we go, our monthly income report. Okay, tuition income rent income, I guess, from the single dormitory, or we have two now. XP bonus, staff wages payout, and monthly profit. That's our net profit. Nice. Okay. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. <laughs> Only some, though. Uh, Alright, they're back in the lab, and they're seeing what they can do. Oops, let's, let's watch them get up to Whatever this is, bonging the Pokeball with the giant mallet. Uh, classic, classic activity of science labs. I've done it many times myself. Oh, shooting the giant Pokeball with a laser beam. Similarly, absolutely something that I've done many times. First year stuff, you know. I wonder if we should have another bathroom. I feel like that might be wise, you know. But I'm not sure. Let's click on some students and find out how they're doing. No, I've not seen your frog. <laughs> Gay Rainbow here. Seems good. He's doing okay. Timmy White is the teacher. Feeling fine. Kensington Codswallop. Fantastic name. Doing great. Felix Colossus, what a name. Uh, feeling fine. Happiness could be better, but you know, at least it's not low. Piper McGuffin. Bored. Hmm. Yeah, you need some entertainment. Oh, well, that might be our next undertaking here. Uh, but we've almost, there we, we go. Your students have gone from C grade jumps to B grade brain heads. Let's recap how you did it, shall we? Okay. Campus Management 101. Educate, provide better staff and better facilities to improve your students' grades. Nurture, make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate and expand. Earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. Got it. Okay. Congratulations. You've earned some kudosh for completing objectives. Perhaps kudosh. Spend kudosh to unlock new items as well as staff outfits and interior design options. Okay, so that's the progression. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure what it was blinking over here for, but unlock an item. Oh, I see. These are all gotta be a meat wizard machine. It's gotta be a meat wizard machine. From the Bay of Gravy to the Giblet Caves. Let's do it. Listen to this next track, and I'll take out machine. Nice. Drink some water. Thank you. you 
use everything you've learned to help your students pass the year. Oh wow, okay, we've got a lot going on here. We now have staff rooms, student rec rooms. Three students have a personal goal. They want to relax in a student lounge. Well, we will give them a lounge. Let's see what's going on here. January income report, very good. Tree bench wanted, elf panther. Oh no, I've been slowly but surely developing romantic feelings for my friend. Life, eh? Oh, both Alf and Tessa want a bench where they can be sweethearts together. Do I have enough kudosh? Um, looks like I do. Not sure where it shows that. Oh, it's down here. Oh, we've got tons. Okay, let's, uh, let's place it right out here. That's a nice spot for it. Uh, student lounge. Tessa also wants a student lounge. Man, Tessa's kind of needy, huh? I've tried kicking back in every room on campus, but nothing is quite hitting the spot. I think we need a dedicated room for students to hang out, to relax, to, to lounge. Two other students agree. Well, let's do it. Let's build it up here. It's got to be at least three by three. That's good. It's got a window. Uh, let's place a door. And that's all they need, apparently. <laughs> but you know, I bet you they'd be happier with a dartboard, maybe? Uh, let's put her in the middle of that wall. And... Where was that other? Uh, where was that meat wizard machine? Uh, oops, no, no. No, no, no. Meat wizard, there it is. Invalid, not reachable. Oh, I wonder how I rotate. I'm not quite sure about that. Oh well, it'll sit on this wall. Okay. Student lounge. Average staff happiness is a 51. We need to get it up to 60. We also need to employ some more staff and build a staff room. I imagine their happiness will go up once we have a staff room. Okay, let's build it kind of way over here. Staff room, staff room. Three by two. Oh, we will be generous and give them a three by three. We'll give them a door. Are we not? Are we not magnanimous? And that's all they need. But we'll give them a couch too. Because, you know, maybe they want to sit down. Oh, room prestige, I see. So this is the basic requirement, but you can make it better by adding more stuff. We'll give them a garbage can. You know, they might want one of those. And oh, we'll give the staff meat wizard as well. That seems worthwhile. Nice, oh nice, we have a prestige room level two. I don't quite know what that does, but probably makes the staff happier. And it's going to cost us $9,000. Oh, wow. That is quite the wallpaper and flooring. Oh, boy. Hopefully this will increase staff happiness. Improve staff happiness by ensuring they're happy with their salary, have time to relax, and everything they need to satisfy their needs. Most staff will also want training every once in a while. Hmm. Don't know how to do these things. Wait, did we pause the game somehow? I feel like I accidentally paused the game somehow. Ah, I must have pressed space bar. Radio, a zoo worker at the uh oh, has I think. Fallen into the enclosure. Uh oh, it's been staff happiness is going down. Any immediate danger, and zoo okay. officials are currently negotiating with the Gibbons for the employee's release. <laughs> uh oh, I think someone blew up. All right, let's look at our staff here. Um, their happiness is going down. Uh, Timmy White is very unhappy. Okay, what's this? Training. Sure, let's... Oh, apparently we can't train. It says here, open training menu, but I click it. And nothing seems to happen. Perhaps
perhaps that's restricted for this tutorial. Not quite sure. Interesting. Our staff appear to be getting less happy. That's strange because their staff room is pretty baller. I mean, they have Meat Wizard. What more could they want? And a couch. Okay. Uh, well, salaries, I guess. Could we pay them more, perhaps? Uh, he doesn't look very happy with what he's getting paid. Oh, there we go. We can offer him more. He feels filthy and tired. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let's, let's give him a raise. Let's raise by like 2,000 bucks or so. No, he's still kind of unhappy with that. Really? I see. Okay. All right, let's give him like 32K a year. There, he's happy with that. Uh, the game appears to be telling me we need more janitors. So let's, let's do that. Let's go here. Rudy Rambo. Lydia Sauce, Millie Boo Sweat, or Laura Bobble. Frequently asked questions. Yes, um, we are testing you. What do these guys do? Maintenance. Maintenance. Or these ones are a little faster. These guys charge more, but I just try Millie Boo Sweat. Oh, average staff happiness increased. Oh, probably because Millie, Millie Boo started off happier. Okay. It's declining again, you guys. Oh, no. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Um, Timmy White, you should be getting happier, my friend. Needs are not being met here. I get asked what I would have done had I not to Timmy White. Oh, trade. energy. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of how do I yes, room I prestige 10% intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense? Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. Oh, energy's going back up. Okay, secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. <laughs> Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Okay, oh, what's this? Ah, uh, statement APR year one. Okay, yeah, lots is going into staff wages, but that's okay. As long as they're staying happy. But they're not quite happy enough. They have to ensure they're happy with their salary. They have time to relax. And everything they need to satisfy their needs. I haven't seen any staff using the staff room yet. I think maybe I screwed up by putting it too far away. Can I like move it? Maybe. Add items. Edit room. Copy room. Oh, there's actually quite a bit here. Pick up room. Yes, let's do this. Let's move it closer to the action here. Boom. Right there. Uh-oh. What's invalid? I have to fix... Oh, hold on a second. Students are reminded Let's do this. No such yeah. thing as free time. There we go. We're experiencing, a, we're expecting a weed infestation on campus. What does that mean? We're going to be infested by weeds. Okay, let's go back to personnel management here. Oh, no, no, no. I want to, there we go. Changes confirmed. Should we maybe hire a gardener or something? I'm not sure how, how we would go about that. These are all maintenance staff. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see about raising our staff wages. Uh, because yeah, a lot of them just don't seem that happy. All right, Timmy. How do I give Timmy more energy? That's what I want to know. Doctor, return to the hospital. 
Do I need to maybe improve this room? Because Timmy does not have high room prestige. He's also filthy and tired. <laughs> Help me, I don't know. A shower room? Okay, sure, that seems like a good thing to have. Maybe, maybe Timmy can shower. Uh, let's just do this. And add a door and a shower. All right. Uh, are you gonna go shower, Timmy? Uh, we do need to uh, also hire another staff member here. Open the hire staff menu to view applicants. Use the tabs to view pools of staff for different jobs. New applicants will apply periodically as long as time hasn't been paused. That's why they get the jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, um, toilet substitute, sip of milk. Oh gosh, so many people here trying to shower. Oh, the good old pixelated characters. I love it. Kind of weird that they're all just standing here watching, eh? Through the glass door. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. Okay. Oh no, staff happiness continues to decline. I want to make them happier, but I'm not quite clear how. Happiness 43, happiness 48, happiness 50. All right, let's look at McBoat face. Oh, we need another assistant in the library. Well, we can definitely do that. Let's go here, we'll go to assistants. Mm, Barry Trout looks capable. Learning boost and Oh, they're happier. Yeah, Barry, you look like a good guy. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, wow, that did it. Just because Barry's very happy, so I guess he brought up the average. Oh, extra credit. Here, hold on. Okay, another financial statement. If we level up our science lab, select a room to see its current prestige level. Room prestige can be increased by adding a variety of items. Or by making the room larger. Oh, maybe they wanted a larger staff room. Maybe that was it. But let's add some stuff. Let's add a science shelf. What is it? Unquestionably flammable. You know, there's very strict rules about how to store that flammable stuff. A whiteboard, always a good thing to have in any science room. Hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Definitely, we want that over by the flammable shelf. A leafy plant? Why not? I mean, you're just trying to level up that room prestige. Thunderballs. Do we want thunderballs? Yeah, we do. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We don't have room for thunderballs. Can we move this thingy? Okay, let's... Now we might have room for thunderballs. Where did our thunderballs go? There we go. Oh no! Oh, we, we miscalculated. How about a microscope? Yeah, that's... Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we do just have enough. Perfect. That's a big microscope. It looks like an electron microscope or something. Let's place it right here. Nice, we now have a level 3 science lab. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. And we've got an update for Let's try and make our students happier. Okay, oh. I think we're done. The Gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what Gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Sweet creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic. I can't. I just can't. With these library or these uh, radio callouts. Uh, congrats, you finished the academic year. Let's head to the end of year rewards to celebrate and see how we did. Okay. Hey. hey. Uh, should we see our overview? Pass rate. None of our students were expelled. All 10 of them are continuing. Average exam results, 79%. I feel like that's pretty good. A 
100% pass rate with like, that's a solid B, well it depends on what institution you go to, but um, I, I'm pretty happy with that, an average of 79, that's pretty solid. We have some smart students. All right. The summer break is the perfect time to prepare for the year ahead. Build facilities, make unsustainable design choices, and bask in last year's glory. Okay. Let's expand our range of courses by starting a virtual normality course. Okay. Uh, let's smash courses. Add a new course. This will become active in the next academic year. Virtual normality. A new area, era of technology is here, and it's sure to redefine the way you think about goggles. Students can experience being where they're not, like never before. Discover new worlds or practice tying your shoes, all in the comfort and privacy of the virtual realm. Alright, let's do it. I don't know what... These are the... the I see these are the types of students who will enjoy this class. Uh, the rebels, goths, poshos, class clowns, neutral students, or SWAT. What is a SWAT? Looks like a nerd. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Soon we'll have another group of students joining the campus. It's important to expand our ever-growing student body. Buy a new plot for your second year on campus. Uh, I feel like we've got a lot of space here, but I guess we're going to buy more anyway. Oh, we've got a big plot of land here. Ten days? That's pretty quick. Uh, we want to buy it with buildings, I guess. Sure. Okay, that's happening. Uh, we've got lots of things happening here. Uh, Wolfric Half Moon and Randy Fenderson. What else are two people in love supposed to do? We demand activities. They want to double jump bed. Okay, they're getting right to it. Sadly, I don't have enough kudos to unlock the bed, so you guys are just going to have to figure it out without the fancy bed. Um, car booth. What's this? Uh, another relationship between Willow Weaver. Wait, Randy and Willow. Randy and Wolfric. Randy, you two timing sly dog, you. Randy. We want this because, well, do you want to, do you want to tell the story? No, I can't. Uh, I guess you had to be there. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be, this is, we're shipping Willow and Randy simply because they have the thing I can afford. So, I guess, sorry Wolfric. Uh, this can be here so they can eat their uh, vending machine crap at the car booth. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. What's this? Uh, statement. Okay. Good profit. Good profit. We'll, we'll try and get you guys a bed. <laughs> we'll try and foster this love triangle. <laughs> Wolfric deserves better. Uh, okay, let's see about another janitor. Barney Muffin, a fantastic name. Uh, Faye Debauchery, Olivia Stomp, Will Kilmister, or Rolando Catsborn. Let's uh, pick Olivia. I, I like the ones that keep themselves happier, even if they do cost a bit more. Excellent personal hygiene, awesome. All right, there you go. Okay, so we need another lecture theater uh, for our virtual normality. Oh, uh, before starting a new year, be sure to check any unresolved campus requirements, of which we have quite a few. So let's let's build our lecture theater. It's gonna be uh, just right inside the front doors here. 
I like the system where there's a minimum requirement, but then also you can expand on that um, with, um, oops, that's not how I wanted to build that room. <laughs> I meant it to be bigger and differently shaped. I was trying to drag it out, but I I started from the wrong place because I'm a fool. Okay, well, we're just gonna have a very strangely shaped room, I guess. Okay, let's do that. And uh, some seating. Which barely fits, but let's do that. They're not gonna be able to get in here. And a door. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self right here. No. Nope. Or into web parlor replacement there. service. But there's some oh, an, oh no. Doing it the old fashioned way. By throwing the How do I fix it? Until it oh no, you guys. I screwed it up. It'll take a good couple of hours. But boy, How do I make it? it? Okay. It's because the door can't act. There we go. Okay. Okay, but now I'm gonna do this and we're going to in a room. There. And we're gonna put this over here. Okay, much better. There we go. Now we have room for like other better stuff if we want it. Uh, we need a VR lab. Okay. VR lab. Let's build it off of this side. Actually, this door can go to the VR lab. Let's do that. It needs to be five by four. Oh, it didn't like that though. Why not? Oh, okay. This door is not allowed to. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to have a separate door. I thought we could have a door like between the two, but evidently not. Okay, and it needs a VR platform. Whoa. If my VR looked anything like that, I would be pretty pleased. <laughs> I'd be doing a lot more than just playing Beat Saber. Okay, we need another Scientography teacher. Is that so? And a Virtual Normality teacher. Okay, let's, let's go back to staff and the teachers. Uh, oh, this one can teach Scientography and Virtual Normality. Donald Vacuum, you are a useful man. Let's do it. Oh, and we need a third Scientography teacher now. Okay, I guess Donald wasn't quite up to the task of teaching both courses. Um, Cat Elderflower, that's a nice name. Let's go with Cat into the lab with you. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready for another academic year? Oh, a study cubicle. Uh, yeah, I can, we can do that. We've got several, but we can place another. We've got one, I guess. Let's do another one right there. And let's see, if, can we get that bed yet? No. We need to get more of these kudosh, which you earn for your whole organization by completing objectives and challenges. Okay. Alright. Well, let's start the year. Oh, wait. I'm listening. Okay, let's skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Alright, start the year. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Yes, I want to start the year with these courses. Ten course points to spend. I guess we could have another course if we wanted, but eh. We'll just go with what? Okay. Two students would like better accommodation. Consider building some more dorms. Or making the existing ones nicer. I suppose that's fair. Our dorms do kind of suck. All right, let's go. Uh, dormitory. 
about to make some nicer ones. There we go. We can add a bed. We can add a wardrobe. We can add a desk to study at. Now that is a nice looking dorm. Could probably make it a little smaller even though. Oh, we need a door. I guess. I guess. Uh, but what if we, what if we just edit this room? And make it just like, how do I? Hmm, not quite sure how to remove. Now, well, it's not important. I'm sure it's possible, but I do not know. Uh, yes, cancel editing, correct. Okay, our students are very close, very close to the required happiness rating. Uh, and we will see how the virtual normality class goes. They need to pass with at least a C. What if we give them more seating? Do you think that would help? Let's try it. Oh, rats. Now wait, if we move this door though. Edit. there and then mm, how we... hmm. not quite sure how to rotate these things it's probably on the interface somewhere but because I kind of wanted to put another set of seating right there but it doesn't seem to want to let me there we go there we go nice Okay, we got some emails. <laughs> Wolfric and Randy still want that double jump bed. Uh, we made some money. Records cubicle. What is this? Randy again. Randy is a demanding student. Library records. Okay, we have the kudos for it. Yes. Oh, it's kind of sizable though. Uh, if we put it here, I feel like that's blocking access to a lot of stuff, but, you know, <laughs> I, apparently we can put it there. Sure, why not? Okay, students ain't happy, so why not? Select a student or staff member to view their needs page to see what's affecting their mood. Respond to their needs and improve the environment. Okay, oh yeah, we got a lot of fairly unhappy students here. Um, what do they need? Archie Longbottom, for example. Uh, more food. Maybe more dorms. It does not like the accommodation. Okay, th that seems pretty obvious. We need to make some more dormitories. So let's just keep making a few more over here. Um, I don't know if the other students feel the same way, but let's do one there. 30 students would like better accommodation. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm working on it. Your, your, your request has been heard, students. Alright, there's one. Just add a few. Oh wait, hold on. It uh, there was a copy paste option. Let's just let's mirror image this though, so we have a couple of different, just a little bit of variety, you know. I guess we can give them windows, huh? Oh, room prestige is almost the next level up. Let's give them a plant. Will that do it? It absolutely. Oh, our campus just leveled up. All right. Okay, we've got a couple of nice storms here. These are the ones you want to get placed in. Uh, you don't want to get placed in <laughs> this one. <laughs> Why are all the students in this one still, though? Four students. Okay, now let's... Can I select, like... Yeah, let's... 
copy room and paste a new one. Awesome. And here, copy room, paste a new one. Very good. All right, hopefully that helps our students uh, be a little happier because we've done everything we need. Okay, it's going up, yes. The students passed with at least a C. All right, we've got some stuff down here. What's this? Statement, oh, profit's going up. Park bench wanted. Totally, let's do it. Dave Rainbow says, I don't like sitting on the floor anymore. What is this, primary school? No, I'm a big fella now, and I need a grown-up seat. Indeed you do, Dave. Indeed you do. Here's your bench, Dave. Sit on the, sit on the lawn. Enjoy. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. Uh-oh, happiness is going down again. Why, though? Why? Okay, let's look at our students again. Alright, who's unhappy? Lots of them are unhappy. Let's sort by a happiness. Okay, so Petra, Petra Latrine. Petra's probably unhappy because her last name is Latrine. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, and you may not know it, but you just made a wonderful decision. The finest radio show in town, coming right up. This radio, this radio though. Okay, grab yeah, back to students. Okay. Okay, someone's really happy. Kensington caught Swallop. Absolute legend. Um, Petra is unhappy maybe because of poor grades, perhaps. Or maybe the grades are poor because she's unhappy. Okay, more food. I don't know how to improve the room prestige. <laughs> Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. And once again, a real mood. Feeling fine in the good way. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, more food. That seems reasonable. That's, that's a reasonable request. Can we build a cafeteria perchance? No, it's just gotta be vending. Uh, vending machines for now. Okay, let's place more vending machines. Let's place a few of them over here outside the VR lab. A burp machine. Uh, I really wish I did know how to. We'll put it. Nope, no, not allowed to be in the classroom. Okay, you know what? No, change plans. In the hallway outside the dorms. That seems like somewhere students would want vending machines. And we'll do more cheesy gubbins down here. And more burp down here. Okay. Uh, I heart TP banner. Oh, two point. But also, toilet paper. Very funny. We'll put one of those up right there. <laughs> uh, we need a new assistant for the library. We can do. Assistants. What is this? Comic timing. Oh, fun. And level two library management, absolutely. Peggy, you are hired. Let's do it. Get into the library. What replaces Barry Trout? No, no, no. I didn't know Barry. Barry should still be here. Oh no, we were so close. Student happiness was at 59, but then it dropped. Still can't get that double jump head. Okay, let's try one more time here. Who is unhappy? Archie Longbottom. What is your problem, Archie? Currently littering. What a jerk. Um, nope. Oh, hey. I think we did it. A Piazza Lan Lanatra unlocked. Must be the next level. Uh, a new campus, yeah. Star rating increased for Freshly Meadows. We are now a one-star institution. Uh, this must be frightfully exciting for you. The people of Freshly now have a second thing to be proud of, to go with their canal. Bully for them. Congratulations and so on. Still, don't be too complacent. This is only your first campus, and frankly, it shows. <laughs> Thank you, Tarkin Foxbridge education minister this week 
uh, we got some rewards. A hot dog kiosk. A coffee kiosk. And a whale fountain. Just listening to the radio. usual cup of beef tea for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Helium baboons. Not as bad as I feared they would be. Helium baboons. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's hit continue. Don't know where your class is. Is it really worth going? Okay. All right. So, um, we now have, um, the option to work towards a level or a two-star campus if we want to. We have to get the campus up to level nine. We have to earn one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We have to improve our dormitories. Their current rating, 43%. Oh, come on. These dorms are literally nicer than like many dorms I have seen. I'm not sure what more you want. You have your own room. You're not bunking with a roommate. You have a desk, a wardrobe, a bed, a window. Uh, these are pretty nice dorms. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I guess these are freaky students. Uh, and satisfying personal goals. Ah, uh, those are the emails, of course. What's this? Scientography Open Day. A group of prospective students are interested in Scientography and hoping to visit the campus. Sure, come on in. We'll get some kudos for it. Which we can use to unlock the double jump bed for Wolfric and Randy. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. <laughs> but... Um, the story of Wolfric and Randy, the story of Freshly Campus, uh, is going to have to wait for another time because, my friends, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Uh, at this point, if we wanted, we could progress on to the next campus, it looks like, um, and face a whole new series of challenges and presumably have new aesthetics and, and all kinds of new stuff, so... But um, I have thoroughly enjoyed our first look at Two Point Campus. This game is absolutely charming. It really has a vibe of some of those classic old sim games. Oh, our campus just leveled up. Um, you know, really uh, the feel of some of my favorites, like Roller Coaster Tycoon, for example. And uh, I dig that. Um, genuinely funny in a lot of cases. Uh, especially if you've spent any time attending academic institutions, colleges, or universities. Um, they, a lot of the humor, I think, will land. And, um, and pretty easy to learn, having never played this before. Uh, you know, uh, it seems pretty well tutorialized. Uh, so. Okay, I want to know what, what's going on here. A water cooler. A crescent bench. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'm just listening to the radio again. Bridge form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, foolhardy, crass, smelly, and generally hopeless. I don't even know what he was talking about, but I enjoyed it. Um, my friends, if you would like to check out Two Point Campus, once again, there is a link down below in the video description. You can click through to do so, uh, and it is available on a whole host of platforms from PC to Xbox, PlayStation, uh, and Switch. So, um, check it out. It just came out. Uh, it seems awesome, and, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more uh, two point campus gameplay, perhaps the next campus site, please do let me know down in the comments as well. All right, my friends, thank you again for joining me for this video today, and I look very forward to having you back again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>